It's 5.45 p.m., which means it's time for BCTV's Nightly News Roundup. Well, for you viewers out there, it's 5.45 p.m., which means it's time for BCTV's Nightly News Roundup. It's 5.45 p.m., which means it's time for BCTV's Nightly News Roundup. It's 5.45 p.m., which means it's time for BCTV's Nightly News Roundup. I'm Roland Boyden from Okinawa, Japan, in front of the world's second largest aquarium. Just kidding, actually, we're at BCTV where renovations have begun. I'm standing in front of our brand new green screen, and I'll be here tonight with Joe Bushy as we begin tonight's broadcast. Now, uh, we have started uh, filming, pre-taping 545 Live, so the interest of full disclosure, we're going to be uh, presenting small webcasts that show at its regularly scheduled time, 5.45 p.m. on Channel 8. Tonight we got plenty of good stuff coming up, including the governor talking about mental health. We'll go live to Gallery Walk where Daryl Pillsbury is standing by, and of course we'll talk about this uh, vandalism arson case that is on everyone's mind. All that and more, and remember we do it all in 15 minutes, so stick with us here on 545 Live. <laughs> First year we raised like thirteen thousand dollars and helped like thirty families, and then we said, "Uh oh, we think we're on something here, so <laughs> we're going to have to continue um, doing this." So now we're in our seventh year. Um, we've been lucky enough to raise probably well anywhere around two hundred thousand dollars and help probably five hundred fifty, six hundred families stay warm. All right, here's the script from uh, our hardworking intern, Nolan Edgar, who's been looking through the news here today to make it look like I can reel all this stuff uh, off the top of my head. Let's see what we got. New information has been revealed concerning the head-on collision that closed Route 30 for almost six hours last month. So three local teens are being charged with the various acts of vandalism and arson which occurred starting last Friday night here in Brattleboro. North was driving toward Brattleboro when his vehicle struck the front of another motor vehicle driven by Richard W. Kenyon. Kenyon and his passenger Joseph W. Shagnon. Apparently there's a lot of W's in the middle name here. Well, building a better Brattleboro is trying to make parking more simple and less stressful for residents and visitors. We've got our new uh, intern, Nolan Edgar, who is slaving away here, uh, pumping out some good scripts for us. He's been working away filming video as well, live downtown with Daryl Pillsbury to make that webcast happen. This is the Union Station project for the town of Brattleboro, and what they're doing is tearing down two of the old buildings at the site and redeveloping it to be public open space along the river. I'm 85. All right, uh, that's just about all I got. So uh, I'll say, Joe, thanks for checking in with me uh, tonight right here on. on the desk. Uh, for BCTV and 545 Live, I'm Roland Boyden alongside Joe Bushy. Thanks to our associate producers, Vlasta Papelka and Nolan Edgar. We'll be back Monday. See you then. Hey Roland, uh, Frederick, I'm up here in Burlington right now, and as you can see right behind me, um, some people are looking at something. Oh, and it's the president. Uh, running for re-election, according to WCAX. For BCTV and 545 Live, I'm Roland Boyden. Thanks to operations manager Vlasta Papelka, who helps us keep it all together here and who is apparently not running for uh, the U.S. District 3 rep seat after all. Uh, thanks to Nolan Edgar, our intern, who's carrying a MacBook and this here camera right now uh, to uh, help ensure that this live on the street show goes smoothly and I actually make it seem like I know what I'm talking about. To our content specialists, Paige Martin, Maria Dominguez, Ian Keel, Frederick Noyes, and everybody else that makes 545 Live a delightful little ditty. Thanks for uh, all you do. Thanks, viewers, for checking in. Night, everybody. And to wrap up for 545 Live, what would an episode be without a little bit of shum? I don't know what he's... I have no idea what he's talking about. I'll just try it again. Okay. Do you, do you remember... Oh, it's blinking. Does that mean we're out of... Where are we going to put this thing? Here we go. That'll work. Does that look like I'm wearing some weird, like, bulletproof vest? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, man, I feel like I should be filming you, like, 
filming me for a second just so we hold on yeah this is our teleprompter high-tech teleprompter all right 